Right. We're here up in uh, Columbia Heights, Washington, D.C. And I've met this artist here. His name is... Morris McDowell. And I've been in Columbia Heights now. First, I want to say that I'm 68 years old. And I've been in Columbia Heights for almost 40-some years. And what I've been learning to do is to give back to the community, to our young black men and women, for those who have problems and issues with uh, whatever, the, whether it's drugs or whatever, and my one of my concerns are is putting what I see on canvas. And as you can see here, this is some of my work right here. And this first one here is an abstract. And if you look at it real close, you will see a black man holding up Africa. The reason I chose to do this is because a lot of time we get a misinterpretation of Africa, but once you put it on canvas, then people will learn and see the true significance of Africa. Mm -hmm. Now the second one here, I chose to do the history of our culture. The reason I chose to do this is because history books in school yes. has a different interpretation and I'm going to explain a little bit. Here you can see the ship, you can see the black people jumping off of the ship, and you can see the black brothers crying because of what he sees. You see Pharaoh's pyramids down here, you see the African continent goes around here, you see the black woman. Queen Latifah is right here, and then we go back to the 70s. Back then, you know, it was a black and white thing where they hung black people on trees, and as you can see, this rope represents the United States is red, white, and blue. Even his belt here is red, white, and blue to show that the United States had a lot of impact on black history. Now, the second, the second one here, is about Indians, and Indians were very spiritual people at that time. So I took and I did some research on it, and they believe in the spirits and mountains and stuff. This is why I chose to do this picture. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go back to our history again, you'll see that back then they sold black people for a hundred dollars reward, and back then it said for this black buck. Back then. This is what they were calling men black bucks because you had your field hands and your uh, slave hands. Now the reason for that is because the United States or the government or the people, Marcus Duval was the owner back then because he owned eight plantations with 1,600 black people in it. Mm -hmm. Now I hope that I have said something that will interest the people and I appreciate this young lady stopping by to see some of my work. And I hope in the near future, if y'all will check her website out, she will give you more information on it. Like I said, my name is Morris McDowell, and I hope with God's help that this interview will help you, okay? Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. And my name is Tony Lane. All right. And my website is Ethnic Trip Cultural Art. That's right, that's com. right. All Thank right. you. Thank you, young lady, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Huh? We get ready to go. Go oh, watch my food. That's blackface. Mm -hmm. Back in the early 30s, white people were using us uh, called black faces. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people not don't know the history on black faces. This picture represents right here is a homeless guy saving a baby. I call this picture Angel. Mm -hmm. This one right here is a homeless guy just got put out. Excuse me, let's break this down. This is a homeless oh, okay. guy just got put out. As you can see, you see the liquor bottle and the name of the picture is Who Am I? And what he's doing, he's thinking about his son. If you look at the shadow and up here, mm -hmm. and this is the projects in the back. Go over there by my food, man. I got you. <laughs> we are from Columbia Heights. <laughs> Let's keep it real. <laughs> Alright. And then we hanging out around yeah. my stuff. <laughs> it is an invisible one. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. 
appreciate it. Yes, ma'am, and I hope that, you know, it will help you, you know, and whatever, you know, the struggle is, just don't give up. I won't. Continue to push on in life, okay? All right. Whatever you run into, just ask God for help, and he'll send someone to you. All right. Okay? Word. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, you ready to go, dude? All right.